Hey guys, it's Steve Lee. I'm back here again with another Divi CSS Share quick tip. Uh, today's tip is going to be all about how to add an icon or, or a badge or another logo to the header area of your Divi websites. So, uh, and actually this can be used for any uh, WordPress site. It's not Divi specific, uh, but that's uh, what we're working with here today. So this is a, uh, a custom home builders website and we're gonna be adding a HALS 2019 uh, best of service badge um, to their header area. It'll end up looking something like, uh, something like this when they're done, uh, this best of HALS 2019 service badge and uh, adding it to the um, I'm sorry moving it around within the header space is fairly simple with the uh, CSS code that we're going to provide uh, but getting it on there does take a couple of steps uh, so <clears throat> hopping right into it what we've got to do here is we've got to go to the um, go to the post area and we're gonna add a new post and we're not doing this to uh, you know post to the blog or anything. It's simply to get the HTML code um, that we're going to need to paste into the the menu section. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is uh, just in the what you see is what you get editor area. Click on add media, and you can see here I've got the best of uh, house 2019 badge there already. We're going to pop that into the post and uh, click on the text button over here on the right, and that's going to give us the raw. HTML code that we need to to copy and paste into our menu area. So uh, go ahead and right click and copy that code, and then you can close right out of here. Just delete the you know the draft of this later. There's no other reason for this uh, this page post. So now I'm going to go over to the um, appearance and menu section. Uh, tell WordPress it's okay to leave that as a draft. <clears throat> And on the left hand uh, sidebar, we're going to click on custom links. And we're given uh, two input fields here, one for the URL and one for the link text area. Uh, the HTML code that we just copied from that post area is where we're going to paste in. Uh, we're going to paste that into the link text area. And um, don't worry about what it says because um, WordPress is going to you know, render that as the picture. In the URL area, uh, I'm going to actually make that badge link to... Um, my client's house uh, account page. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here from uh, from my clipboard, and we can click Add to Menu. <clears throat> so um, this is a this is a good location here. I'm going to add it to the um, to the end of the menu list. Uh, but there's still one more thing we need to do before um, before this can work. You've got to go up here to um, to your screen options area, click on that, and then you need to enable CSS classes. And, uh, and what that changes, if you click on any of the links, um, any of the menu items, it adds this, uh, this field down here where you can apply a CSS class to each menu item. So if that checkbox isn't checked, you're not going to see this input field. So um, that's where you find it. It's in the screen options area. And I'm going to name this class. Uh, I'm just copying and pasting from my uh, clipboard here. Uh, so make sure all the uh, wording is right. Logo, full, width, menu. <clears throat> and you do not have to put a period here um, in front of this. The period um, to designate it as a CSS class is just done in the style sheet. So um, with that, we're done here in the, um, the menu appearance area. So I'm going to save this. And let's head back out to the site and see what it looks like at this point. Okay, so that logo is super big and blown up here. Um, but we can see it does link um, to the right place, so that's a good thing. Let's put the finishing touches on this by going into our theme customizer. And I'm going to uh, provide you with two little snippets of code here that you need to apply to your additional CSS, CSS area. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and uh, paste mine in myself. And then we'll walk through and kind of tweak this as we go so uh, you guys know what you're looking at here. So the two bits of code that we put in, um, one is marked up here as Hal's logo header, and the other one I've got marked up as uh, adjust menu items after adding uh, logo. <clears throat> and with the, um, with the Hal's logo header text, uh, I'm sorry, code, uh, you can see that we float this to the right if uh, you wanted to move that logo to the uh, the left hand side of your menu items, you can do that too um, with the the simple float command. But I want to keep mine on the right, 
and I want to add a little bit of padding to the um, to the menu items just to bring them down kind of in line with that logo. So um, we did miss one step here when we were in the uh, the menu area. Uh, let's copy this uh, menu padding class, and we do have to go back. Let's get this published. <clears throat> we're going to go back into the appearance and menus area and add uh, the menu padding class to each of our menu items. Uh, I'm sitting here trying to uh, change the padding on those, and uh, they're just not targeted yet with uh, with CSS. So let's get out of our theme customizer, head over to menus, and in each of these um, menu items, we're going to add menu padding, just to the top level menus, not to any of your uh, your child, your children, or uh, sub menus. Here we go, and contact. And now let's go back out to our site and see how uh, things look. Okay, everything looks good there. We added some uh, some padding. I'll go into the theme customizer and we'll play with that maybe just a little bit uh, to level those words up, but it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> let's see, let's change this to 25 pixels. We're just adding top padding to each of those um, those menu items. And that looks uh, that looks pretty darn good there. So let's go ahead and get this published and see how it looks. And there you go. We've got an icon uh, with a link to our uh, our house page on the right side of our, our header menu area. So a uh, pretty quick, simple CSS tip. The hardest part about that is kind of just getting the, um, the HTML code, um, you know, from a post and, uh, and popping that in uh, to your menu item, to your custom link. And uh, after that, just copy and paste the CSS code into your theme customizer additional CSS area and, uh, you know, tweak it to your liking. So that's all I've got for today, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, checking in again. And be sure to check out our Facebook page, Divi CSS Share, for, uh, for more CSS tips. We've got a Trello repository there with, uh, with all the stuff that we do um, with all the CSS codes and, uh, and tutorials and stuff like that. So uh, come on by, join the group, and uh, we'd love to have you. Until next time, uh, that's all I've got. Have a good one. Bye-bye.